Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to another Adventure Quest Worlds video. In today's video, we are going to get four cool new daily drop weapons. Alina made a tweet saying, New daily drops, battle chaos lord Iota and slash time space until September 30th for a chance to get all four out of this world weapons. And as you can see in the photo attached, they are these really cool weapons called the Nebula Reavers. So we're going to be doing that today, but before we do that, we have a character page and a house to look at. And those belong to a player named JP the King. He commented on my Celestial Pass playthrough video, responding to the question that I proposed, has anyone beat Azalith, solo or with a team? He replied saying, saw from a Twitter post that she apparently heals back to full HP after you get her down enough. By the way bro, you should make a Twitter account. You will see more work in progress from artists and stuff. IGN, JP the King. So that answers the question right there, she's basically unkillable, so don't waste your time. And JP, I do have a Twitter account. I will mention it here and at the end of my videos like I always do. You can follow me on Twitter at LankyAQW. Alright JP, let's see what you got going on on that character page. Level 100, Yami no Ronin, Necrotic Sword of Doom, Dage of the Good, Dage of the Good's Helm, Zealous Seraphim Cape, and an Evil Hero. I'm actually currently working on getting this Zealous Seraphim Cape because I have a set that I'm working on that I'll show maybe in a video or on Twitter or something. You guys can follow me there and check that out, but I'll show you guys that soon. I'm pretty excited about it. The Dage of the Good armor, I'm really jealous that I never did get this. I wish I had because I love it so much now that I'm actually looking at it. I don't see a lot of people with it, so it's really cool to see you with this. Got some nice endgame badges, Legion Revenant, Void High Lord, Sepulcher's Armor, Necrotic Sword of Doom, Blade of Awe, Champion of Chaos, Bonnie Light Destiny, Endless Doom, very cool. Got some nice battle badges, really showing your support, man, awesome stuff. Killing it with the upgrade packs, man, that's so cool. Got some really nice exclusive badges, I haven't seen a lot of these badges. Keep in mind there was a time where I wasn't playing for a while, so I haven't seen some of these, so a lot of you guys probably have but for me it's all kind of new to me so these are really cool wow chrono corruptor from 2012 that's very cool i've only bought one thing from hero mob before and that's the 2020 calendar this is cool i've never seen this house in person so i'm really excited to check it out coming through the front door the first impression reminds me of the legion castle I'm only like a hollowborn theme because this is the hollowborn castle so really cool very excited to see this if it's anything like the legion castle it should be very spacious come here in the room under the stairs we have a wall with this nice hollowborn skull on it that's very very cool uh Nothing in this room, but like I said, this is a very, very spacious house. I don't mind if people don't decorate their houses. It's just nice to look at. This, I'm very pleased with this. Unlike the Nolgath Nation house, this isn't owner restrictive. Anyone can use this. I like that. I like when houses do that, but I also respect when houses make it owner restrictive because that Nolgath Nation house is very hard to get. If we come over here to this room, we have this portal. Where does this take us? Ah, this is nice. It takes us to this little area here. I believe when we were in the other room, you could see this out the window. I know I saw something in the distance and I think it was that. Yeah, right there. That's very cool. I like that a lot, actually. And if we come over here to the last room, there's also nothing. So this house is completely empty, which is fine because that gives you so much room and so many opportunities to decorate the coolest house. Thank you, JP, for inviting us into your house and letting us check out your character page. Alrighty, folks, here we are in time space. Before we go any further, I noticed that at the beginning of this video when I was recording the intro, I called him Chaos Lord Iota. I want to clear the air and correct myself in saying that it is Chaos Lord Iodoa. I apologize for that. So here in time space, you are going to have to fight Chaos Lord Iodoa. Now, if you're like me, you are behind on your 13 Lords of Chaos. I can prove it here. I have not completed the span. And yes, I am behind. I am not afraid to admit that. But like me, if you're behind, you cannot get to Iodoa. I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be in the span right now. But it still allows me to be in here. And I can only go so far. If I go one arrow forward, I can't go forward another time, which I think Iodoa is over here. So a helpful tip, which I found out, if you join a packed room in time, time space where people are currently farming for these weapons, like this one right here, there are six players. You can actually go to a player and teleport right to Iodoa. So that is a very useful tip because I didn't think I'd be able to record this video because I couldn't get to Iodoa, but it let me go to another player. So I was able to kill him and get the weapons. When I farmed the weapons, there was about six players in my room. And with all of us attacking him, I got all four weapons in about seven minutes. These are the four weapons that you will receive from Iodoa, the Nebula Slasher. The second weapon is the Nebula Nebula Reavers. The third weapon is the Nebula Slashers. This is a smaller dual wielding version of the Nebula Slasher. And the fourth weapon is the Nebula Reaper, which is a really awesome scythe. And if you guys know me, 
I love sights. Since we are using AQ Lite, let's go into our settings and go to the camera tool so we can get a closer look at all four of these awesome weapons. Ah, oh, yes, dude. Look at that lightning animation. That is so clean. I do not know the artist who did the art on these weapons. I wish I did so I can give credit where credit is due, but whoever did, did a phenomenal job. Look at these constellations and these little bokeh marks inside the blade. Oh my gosh. I cannot get over this animation. The blue smoke and the lightning. That is so sick. Like when I watch the animation, I can just picture what that sounds like. Just the way these constellations look and these colors reminds me in Assassin's Creed of like the Animus. Yes, Reavers to me are really cool weapons and these ones are even cooler. So far, this is probably one of my favorite daily drops. This one's actually really cool. This time I enlarged the weapons as big as I could go so we could really get in there and really look at the detail and appreciate it. That lightning animation, seriously, I feel like I'm getting electrocuted. <laughs> Ah, yes, my favorite weapon of all, the scythe. Gotta love the scythe, and it's a space lightning scythe. What else could you want? Alrighty, ladies and gents, that is gonna do it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and head on down to the comments and tell me what you liked about it. If you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down, go to the comments and tell me what I could have done better. While you're down in the comments, if you want your character page and your house to be featured at the beginning of future videos, leave me a comment telling me your in-game name. While you're down there, please consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell to be notified when I upload. All of my social medias are in the description of every single one of my videos, but if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, you can at LankyAQW. You can also find me on Reddit at LankyAQW. Every time I upload a new video, I always post it to Twitter and Reddit, so if you happen to be on one or the other, you can find it there. You can also find my Discord down there if you guys want to collaborate with me or simply just hang out. If you guys have any other Adventure Quest Worlds related Discord servers that you want me to join, send me a message with the invite link. I'm currently accepting members for my guild Legion Logbook. Don't worry, there are no insane requirements to join, but there is one, and that is that I ask you guys, please be kind and respectful of one another. I hope you found this video helpful, and I want to thank you guys again for all the support I've been getting recently on my channel. We are now at 126 subscribers, and I think that is such a huge milestone, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. I will see you in the next video, and I will see all of you in-game.